Hi everyone, Bird here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com. I hope you're all well. It's our latest little review and it's a, a new Netflix uh, drama that's uh, just aired uh, as at today's date, which is the uh, 29th of May 2020. So it's a, a brand new 10 episode by approximately 30 minutes, somewhere under that, one or two are slightly over that. And it's uh, a little thing called a Space Force, which I've been quite looking forward to watching please if you're new to the old channel uh push that old subscribe button there push the bell notification so you know when these little specials are coming out review specials and information vlogs etc on uh, movies and tv dramas and please uh, make sure your notifications are set to public otherwise you won't get to hear about these obviously a lot of people forget to do that so yeah space force yeah i, I was looking forward to this one I, um Obviously, the, the actual synopsis, the actual idea is obviously it's a, people are, are actually tasked with creating the sixth branch of the US Armed Services, which is Space Force and some outside influences as well. But it's very, very American based, obviously, uh, only American based thing. It's created by Greg Daniels and the wonderful, one of my favourites, Steve Carell, uh, one of my favourite actors. And obviously, I usually like his stuff. He stars Steve Carell himself in the main role. Uh, John Malkovich also stars Noah Emmerich, Diana Silvers, and even Lisa Kudrow gets a. It's always nice to see Lisa, isn't it? So gets a little part in this as well. Uh, also, we've got Fred Willard, who sadly passed away on the 15th of May. So it's actually his, his uh, last role as well, which is a little sad. So, yeah, you know, our condolences to everyone connected with uh, Fred Willard. But uh, done lots of stuff, hasn't he, over the years. But, uh, yeah, was, he sadly passed away only, well, a couple of weeks ago since I'm doing this. So it's his last appearance on screen. You may, there may be things in the pipeline, I'm not too sure. But it's, uh, it's um, a tribute to him, I suppose, at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did look forward to this. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. To critics wise, it's not doing great. Rotten Tomatoes, it's only got a 48% approval rating. That's like a under half the people who give it a positive rating. That's based on 31, uh, 31 reviews, an average of 6.33 out of 10, which is okay overall. So it's got it's got a better average rating than it has approval rating. Um, it's sort of syn the synopsis of its comments or the consensus of his comments. It's an all star cast and a worthy worthy special effects and not enough to keep the uneven blend of earnestness and satire from spinning quickly out of comedic orbit. So a little bit of uh, poetic, a little bit of poetic license with the uh, with the space theme. The meta score rating, which is the Metacritic's, uh, is only four point eight hours and so again not very high. That's fourteen. But early days, I mean, obviously not a lot. There's not many people watch this, but there's plenty of reviews coming in. Uh, Internet Movie Database Joe Public rating. That's you and me, people who watch it, normal watchers. They're giving it an average of eight point four out of ten, which is extremely high. Um, and that's a high score. I mean, you get uh, the positive comments. Very funny, well written, not on a par with the office, but still strong. So if it was, well, if it was on a par with the office, I, I, I would absolutely be in heaven. Uh, surprisingly, British and the, U, uh, the US versions. Surprisingly fun, wooden but enjoyable, and some of the criticisms very dumb. Yeah, it is, but that's I think that's that's what it aimed for. I don't think there's anything uh, unusual. There. I think that's the sort of thing it was going for. It wasn't. It's not meant to be taken seriously. Boring. It does wander at times. It does lose its way a little bit at times, but it's, you know it does sort of keep you keep you interested. A twenty twenty space tragedy. See what that guy did there. Twenty twenty space tragedy, and the worst Netflix yet. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know who wrote that, but I mean, there's still a, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of worst Netflix things out there. I can sincerely assure you of that. Yeah, movie game nostalgia. My little rating. As I said, I wasn't quite sure. I was. I, I was when I saw the adverts first of all before reading about it. I thought it was going to be a sort of Galaxy Quest sort of TV, which I'd love. Whatever, wouldn't that be great? A Galaxy Quest series, obviously with the that was a fantastic film, one of my favourite uh, sci-fi comedy films, if you like, Galaxy Quest. So I thought it was going to be like a cross between that and The Office, obviously with uh, with uh, Steve Carell taking taking part, but obviously. 
Yeah, I mean the cal- Galaxy Quest on it's, it's sort of set now, isn't it? It's not it's not in the far far future, so it's it's basically set now. And I, I did like I did like it. I'll say that now. I did. It's not really laugh out loud. I think there's two or three occasions watching the ten episodes where I sort of laughed. Um, but it is ju- it's just a nice watch. It's just, it's just a, I can't really be any any more um, daring than that with my review. Really, it's just a nice watch. That's okay. That. Um, as Steve Carell, if you like Steve Carell, I mean Steve Carell carries it. There's not enough perhaps information on some of the other characters. His, his daughter, the, the girl who plays his daughter, his daughter's come into it a little bit more. Obviously, Lisa Kudrow, Kudrow is uh, in and out of it because of certain circumstances. I won't ruin it by telling you why, but uh, she's sort of more in and out of it. But obviously, when it goes away from Carell, it does does sort of lose a little bit. But I think if we get to know. I mean, hopefully there will be a second series. I, mean, I liked it enough to, to think there will be a second, and it was certainly set up for that. Um, once it goes away from Carell, some of the other characters, I'd like to know a little bit more about some of the characters. They're okay. So, I mean, obviously Malkovich, he's, he's John Malkovich, isn't he? He's, he's okay, he's fine. But uh, it does, once it goes away from Carell's sto- Carell storyline, it does, it does wander a little bit. and It doesn't quite have the same appeal, and a lot of it works, a lot of it doesn't doesn't work. Uh, well shot, yeah, it's nice set, certainly well shot. Um, drift, as I said, it drifts a little at times, but the, what, one of the partial fallouts from the critics, etc. A lot of, see, I'm over here in the UK, and I, I don't get these things about. I mean, I, I, can, I can watch TV series in Britain. There's a political, always a, there's always a, some some writers have a political. They want to make a point. They want to make a left wing point, a right wing point. It doesn't matter what it is. And I just sort of try to ignore that and enjoy the thing for what it is. And I think with a lot of these. Criticism on this again is obviously because of the sound bites. It's because of all the, you know, the actual gung ho attitude of it. But it's all done tongue in cheek. It's all done from a satirical point of view. And I mean, I don't, I don't why understand why people get so tied up in it and things like that. Just watch it as a, as a bit of you know a bit of fun, etc. I mean, I've you know, it it pokes fun at itself as well. I mean, it's not all one way or one one or the other. You know what I mean? It's I do get a little bit weary with this. The, certainly, the US things. Every time you see a review on a US uh, film or a US um, TV drama, there's uh, it's politics comes into it all the all the time. As well, there's an ulterior motive to everything. Please just just watch it for what it is, and. Yeah, it's not absolutely fantastic. It's not quite as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's it's not a bad one. And lengthwise, I mean, you're talking. I think the twenty-five to thirty-five minute episode is just about right. It's just about right. Ten episodes, perhaps another couple more would have been nice. The ending is a little bit. Mm, the ending is a little bit of a letdown, a bit of an anticlimax, unfortunately, with the tenth episode. But. Uh, it is a shame. It isn't. It's a shame. It was so obviously set up for a new series. I mean, as I've said before, well, you don't have to end. I mean, you can end a series. You can end a story and create an, a second series. There's no big deal about it. So, don't leave too many cliffhangers and and don't cut it short. I mean, a bit of a cop out the ending. To be honest with you, I was a bit a little bit disappointed with that. But as a satire, Steve, uh, Steve Carell. If you like Steve Carell, I think you're gonna watch it. Aren't you? If you don't like Steve Carell, then don't bother because it's his sort of facial expressions. This sort of tone of voice, this sort of comments that that sort of make it worth watching, if, if not hilariously lay on your back with your legs in the air funny but because uh, it, it isn't that it's just, it, to say, as I said before it's just a nice watch it's an okay watch for a nice afternoon watch and uh, Binge watching, yeah, binge. It's not a sort of thing. Yeah, I probably could have watched it in three or four goals. Obviously, I binge watched it, so I could do this review for you. But uh, I would have probably watched it in two or three goals, three or four goals, to be honest with you. I would have watched a couple of episodes or three episodes at a time, and uh, gone and watched it again. But obviously, I binge watched it just so I could do this little review for you and tell you tell me what I thought. And please. Let me know in the comments what you thought as well. Uh, my little rating, well, I'm not going to go as high as the 8.4 out of 10, but I'm certainly not going to go as low as the critics' ratings of 4 and 5 out of 10, which is pretty pathetic. I mean, they've been a bit mean to it. Yeah, there was money spent on it, but it, it's not a bad result. It's not a bad result at the end of the day. And as far as Netflix's worst series, well, I don't know what that guy's been watching. Perhaps he'd, perhaps he's only watched two or three Netflix things. I'm not too sure, but... Uh, there's, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of Netflix things that are far worse than this. So certainly, uh, in my opinion, anyway, and it's all opinions, isn't it? Anyway, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. So you might hate it. I don't know. I think if you like, if, if, 
you'll hate it. It's in the same way, you know, a movie like Cats, people people are hating on Cats, but they don't like the state. A lot of people who hated it are not into musicals and not into stage things. I mean, it's it's just it's just how it is. I mean, it's 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 really weird that people will put negativity when you know well, I'm not big. I'm not Carell's biggest fan anyway, and I certainly didn't like this. But yeah, if you're a Carell fan. I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten. I'm waffling out. I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten, which, if you know my scores, is just a, just above a watchable rating. So I was going to give it six, but it's, it deserves a little bit more than that because it is nice. And that's what I'm going to say. Nice and has its funny moments, but not really a laugh out loud sort of thing. You know, let's say. Just if you enjoy Carell, watch Carell, listen to Carell, look at his facial expressions, look, look how he sort of uh, relates to other characters, and that's... that's uh, that's really what's the enjoyable bit about the series. Anyway, please, if you want the latest uh, movie stuff and uh, uh, TV drama stuff, please follow me on Twitter at Charles Deneen, Deneen spelled D-I-N-N-N, or at Nostalgia underscore Movie. You can follow me on both or either of those um, uh, Twitter accounts, and I do follow everyone back as well. I do check every couple of days. And please, I'm on Facebook at Burn Deneen, with links to moviegamenostalgia.com. If you can find a, find a couple of minutes to go on to my little website uh, for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s, and some some board games as well on there. So I'm always trying to... Little, stock's a little bit, obviously, at the moment. hard to get some good stock with the, the postal service. It's not the greatest at the moment. So, uh, But please, if you can have a spare a couple of minutes, football, you know, football's good for the Google Analytics and all this, I'm told. I mean, I don't know how they work it out, but uh, please, if you can, fantastic. Thumbs up to you. And if you, if you can, give me a thumbs up as well. It's nice to get views, but it's nice to get thumbs up as well. So anyway, that's Space Force. It's available now on Netflix, and I'm sure will be available on other streaming sites or, or, or places you may belong to um, here in the UK and outside of the UK, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching this today. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. And let's all look after each other and hopefully you can join me again for something similar very, very soon. This is Bernard saying goodbye for now. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.